Hello, my friends, and welcome to today's uh, video in which we're going to talk about the different resets that a PSC can do. Therefore, I have my little project here, and we're starting at the status where this PSC has two variables, right? You see those two variables and a little program, a little something, basically nothing, uh, but a little program it doesn't do anything, but it's there. And um, you see the values currently both have uh, the, the variables both have the value 20. You see this? Both have the value 20. Right? Um, they both also have the start value 50. The only difference between those two is that this second one here is set to retain, which plays an important role when resetting. So what are the different resets? Um, a little bit different for a 1200 and a 1500. For the 1500, um, I'll start here with the hardware 1500 that I have. So this is the 1500 I, I have. I am connected to the program right now. And you see the little switch. This little switch has three positions. Three positions, it has a run, it has a stop, that's the center position, and it has an MRES, stands for memory reset position on the lower side. So what happens? If I go to stop, let's see, nothing. Both values are still 20, my program is still there. Nothing happens except that the program is not being executed. What happens if I take the little switch and put it to the lower side? Let's see, still 20. See, I can do it over and over again, 20. So memory reset, MRES does not do anything. That's strange, right? That is strange. I can see the LED actually, the LED actually goes on and off. If I do it, right? Off and on, off and on, hmm, strange. If I put it back to run, that's the first thing we can see. If I put the PLC now to run with the switch from stop to run, you see my variable that um, was at 20 is now at 50 because we don't have the retain on. Retain, res uh, if a va variable is not put to retain, it resets its value when you go from stop to run, or in other words, when you start the PLC. This is a memory reset, just a simple memory reset, going to stop and run, you're doing a memory reset with your program. The factory reset here, this the variable that I have, but I can't reset it, right? I can't reset this variable there. It doesn't matter what I do with this. To reset it, we will need to make a, an Urlöschen in German, um, <laughs> like a, a hard reset, where we reset all the values, or a factory reset. Both will work. I will explain the difference in a second. Um, so let's do a hard reset, right? We do a hard reset by taking this the little switch, Put, pushing it, putting it, putting it to the lowest position to MRES memory reset, and keeping it there. The LED blinks twice and stops blinking. I put it back into stop and back down again. That was too slow. One, two blinks and center and down again. And you see, I am now disconnected. My PS3 does a hard reset all the data. It resets all the data that is on there, meaning retentive values get lost. The um, all connections, like my, my PC connection here, got disconnected. So a lot of data is now um, reset, but I can, as soon as the PLC has restarted, I can go back online. I can click on the glasses here and you see even the retentive values go back to the start value. So if you just need to make a full reset of your data, switch down, wait for the LED to blink twice, blink, blink, LED stops, go to the center and push the button, uh, push the switch down, plug, very, very short and you can release already and the LED will start blinking and you are making a reset, right? Uh, that's the first way of doing it. The 1200 PLC does not have a switch. It does not have a switch. Um, just, just by the way, your program is not lost. Your program is still on the device. You can still go online. So your program is never lost when you do those resets. 
your um, 1200 does not have such a switch. That's why you have to go online. If you want to do this, you have to go online as I am right now, right? Go online here, um, connect with the portal. <sighs> Bless me. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so I am online. I am connected. Go online. And as soon as I am online, I can see here on the right side, we have something called testing. There we can see right now the PLC is in run. I can also put it to stop. And I can also do an MRES. You don't have to keep this pressed here in the software. If you press it once in the software, you are doing this hard reset, right? A memory reset, as it says here. A memory reset resets the module. This is how you usually reset your module, all your memory, right? This is how you reset your memory. I won't do it right now because um, I already did it earlier. Let's do it. Uh, full reset. That's the same as pushing the switch down, blinking twice releasing it and pushing it down again and it starts flashing very qu quick um yeah that's the memory reset right still with a memory reset if i now go here on the left side in my uh, network card and in the diagnostics let's see the plc is there it still has a name it has the correct ip address it has um still a program online and it also has still the variables so all our data is not lost our program is not lost just the variables they are reset right it's a memory reset all your counters will be reset all your timers all your uh, variables that you have all your connections stuff like this is all reset now <clears throat> so we had the reset from stop status to the start right when you restart the plc that's just a reset then we have a memory reset when we do the switch down blink twice switch it to the center switch down blink fast or in the software when we go online and in we have to be on the plc and in testing we go mres memory reset Right, MRES, that's the same as with the switch. If we do it in the software or with the switch, no difference. Right? No difference at all. Memory reset. And we have a third. A third reset that is stronger. Right? That is a little bit stronger. Um, but therefore, we have to go here on the left side. We have to be offline, I think. Let's go offline. It's better when you're offline. Um, you have to go to your device here in the network yeah i know thank you thank you we have to go uh to our networks card we open the plc and this plc you see it has all the data has online and diagnostics and let's see in the online and diagnostics we just made two memory resets right we made resets and let's look at the diagnostics buffer and you see how many entries i have and those are already old a couple of days a couple of weeks a couple of years we did a memory reset why is there still data on here saved from weeks ago? Because a memory reset only resets the user data, meaning stuff that you did with your program. That's a memory reset. If we want to reset all of that stuff that we have here, right? All of the, the diagnostics buffer, hardware identifiers, um, uh, um, the IP address, Stuff like this, everything that is really bound to the hardware. If we want to reset the PLC to a status the same as we ordered it, the same as we had it when, when we got it new, right? Like completely new, we have to make a factory reset, right? So this diagnostics buffer is still full. I want to not have any data from earlier. I want to fully reset it, factory reset. We have it in functions. You have to have the same IP address layer. You have to be in the same network as your PLC to do it. Um, and there we have reset to factory settings. At reset to factory settings, I can still choose if I want to retain the IP address. If I retain the IP address, it will still stay in my network. If I delete it, the IP address will be deleted from the device. That's the only difference we can make here. I, I right now do not want to delete the IP address. Maybe you want to then just select delete IP address. I just want to reset everything else. So do this, hit reset, hit yes, hit yes, because it needs to go to stop. And this might take a second or two. 
right now everything is flashing here the PSC is resetting itself uh, to the same state as it was in when we ordered it right so this is now basically a brand new of course the hardware is not brand new but everything that we did um, on the software side is now brand new as we got it so let's see it is now done I update my devices, I go back online, and I can see the IP address is still there and also the network name, that's what I chose. Um, and strange thing is, we still have the program. I'll get to that in a second. Um, but let's go to online and diagnostics, and we should be able to see, look at our diagnostics buffer. There's no entries from earlier. Those are just our new entries from the last factory reset on, right? So that's, now my PSC is completely empty. It's fresh. This is really fresh. That's a factory reset, right? We're putting everything away. Everything, it's completely erased from the PSC. So why, why do I still have a program? I still have the online. This is online on the PSC here, right? I still have the data and I still have my program. This is very strange. What happens if you reset the PSC? You delete all data from the PLC itself and it's empty. Factory reset. It's done. It's empty. What happens when the PLC actually starts? That's what it did afterwards. The PLC starts and it takes all the data from the memory card. This is where the program is. It's the so-called load memory. It takes all the data from the card here and puts it into the internal memory. This is why I still have a program and a data block. So with a 1500, if you do a factory reset, your program is not lost because it's on the memory card, right? So that's why I still have the program here. If I now do a factory reset, it will be completely empty. There will be no program, right? Everything will be deleted because I don't have a card in there, but it won't run without card. <laughs> um, a little bit different for the 1200. For the S7 1200, uh, if you do a factory reset, you are also deleting your program. So if you do a factory reset, if, if I have my 1200, let's assume this is a 1200. I go here, I update my devices, I can connect to it. Hello, it's still booting, it's still booting because I took out the memory card. Here I go. If this would be a 1200 and I do the factory reset, all data is lost. Everything is like you have a new PLC. 1500, everything is empty and then except the memory card, and then data is taken from the memory card, your program is loaded into the PLC again. <clears throat> if you want to get rid of your program as well, what you have to do with the 1500 is, of course, first you see it here, format memory card. If I now format my memory card, the memory card is empty, and afterwards I can do also a factory reset, that means everything is empty again. So 1500, you first have to form the memory card and then reset to factory settings to make everything empty. 1200, just factory reset, everything's gone. Good, so now I explained for way too long the different um, reset levels that we have here. Um, just one more thing that I forgot to mention. If you do not have a memory card, if I take the memory card out and I now flip the switch, Keep it down in the position, blink, blink. So twice blinking, I release it and I push it back down. We're also doing a factory reset. We are now resetting all the data that's on the device without memory card. With memory card, it's just a memory reset, right? Right now it's a factory reset. If I have the memory card, it is just a memory reset, meaning just my data is gone. I'm just resetting all the data. I'm not losing anything. If I take it out, bomb, resetting it. Everything is lost that's on here. We still have the program on here though. Good. Talked way too much about this. I am sorry if this went on a little bit too long. I am quite tired and overworked a little bit. Um, I hope I can get a video up uh, Thursday as uh, well. Uh, wish me luck on that. I, anyways, stay tuned for more content. Definitely there will be some. And I will see you in the next video. And do not forget to like. Do not forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.